Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mr. B Clothing down here in Clive, Iowa. You'll notice we don't have any beautiful clothes behind Look us or anything like that. Look at this empty background today. we have, Chris. We've got, um, I'm going to do a little bit of, watch this, watch this, Tim. Uh -oh, we've got you're going to leave me all by myself? We've got some construction going on here. Wow. At Mr. B Clothing. Wow. Some professional photography right here. You got to take a shot behind it. Yeah, we will. We'll let the let the folks see We're what's going on. We're putting in all new ceilings, all new lights, uh, new carpet, new tile floor. It's going to be new from the front door to the back door for all you fanatic fans. Tim, it looks um, it's exciting. I it, tell you it, what, it's uh, I'm sure it's stressful for you, but it. it it's exciting with the busy time of year coming. I don't know if I'm smart or dumb, but it, you can hear the drills working. Yeah. Everything's going on. I'll tell you more in about a month if I'm smart or dumb. But, uh, <laughs> we're going to have a beautiful store. We've added about 1,200 square feet of uh, new retail space in the back, Chris. I'll walk you through and show you a little bit about it later after we get done with this broadcast. But, okay. uh, we're re re as maybe uh, the Cyclone fans are excited about football coming around the corner, we're excited about fall in what we're going to do and what we're going to have to present to the customer and to you fanatic, fanatic fans and all you fans out there. Come in and see what we're doing. It's going to be really exciting. When, uh, when is your estimated completion date? Well, you know? we, we had a completion date of the last uh, day of August, but it might sneak into right before Labor Day. Okay, good deal. But, well, uh, they're working hard. As you can see, they're at, right at it and everybody's going. We're going to change the ceilings tonight. They stayed last night till 5 in the morning. We're just pressing, pressing, pressing to get oh, done. Good. Well, congratulations Thank on the you. Thank remodel. You. Hey, it's that time of year where I actually had a Texas Tech fan reach out to me the other day. Wow. And said, hey, where are Sitzman's picks? Wow. Down, I like, down in, in Lubbock, Texas, a guy reached out and was yeah. looking forward to this. Well, so, you know, you know, it's fun. I hope uh, I hope we have a, a, a good season. You know, we've had a couple of rough seasons the last two years. And, uh, you know, Coach Rhodes is a good friend of mine. And uh, I know he's a great football coach. We just need to get some talent and get it going. I feel like it's a much more talented football team. The, the the amount of starts they have coming back based off of the injuries Iowa State has had the last couple of years will will be will rival up there with most teams in the Big 12. And the the schedule, Tim, is we're brutal. going to get to. It's brutal. I think it helps Iowa State though that the easier games are in the front. They're not going to be as beat up when you get the week seven, eight, and nine like they have been the last couple of years and it starts with with northern iowa then the iowa hawkeyes and then they got to go to toledo which in my opinion is the most difficult of those non-conference games at toledo but do you, do you think it's been two years in a row they've lost to one of those blasted fcs programs they, they can't lose to northern iowa this year right well i think northern iowa is a, a good football team as you know and they always like that interstate rival they've played iowa very very tough yeah. in the in the past a few years that's what they, they do when they go into kinnick they, and jack yeah, trice right they just that, they're just up for those games i think they beat iowa state the last time they came in they did jack trice. Yeah. Uh, i i think it's iowa state's game though and that's that's i'm coming right out with a, a, a bold prediction of a 14 point game to iowa state that's that's right where i had it i had i think it's two touchdowns and I, you know, we'll get into the Iowa game later on when we talk about it. But I, I'm taking your word for it whether they're improved. But I, I know their defensive line is going to be better. I know their offense should be better if they can block for uh, for uh, Richardson. So I, I, I'm optimistic. The schedule's brutal. The schedule's you, you, brutal. You know, when you get in the Big 12 and what they have and how they'll be rated in the top 25, there'll be there'll be quite a few teams that they're going to play in the top 25. It's just going to be hard. Uh, you know, everybody wants a bowl, vic a bowl uh, trip this year. I, I think it'll be very hard to get a bowl victory, but there is some possibility. Week two is is that Iowa game, which is interesting. In the last ten years, these schools are actually five and five I, against one each one another. The road team has actually won this game three years in a row, including Iowa State's pretty big upset last year. I mean, I, I thought that cons was a big upset. Yeah, yeah, all things considered, at the time, that was a right. significant upset that Iowa State pulled off. I've already, I, I wrote my season prediction column earlier in the week. I think Iowa State's just a, I don't know if they're a better team, but I think at the very least they're pretty even right. programs. Iowa State has just been a thorn in Kirk Ferentz's side. He's seven and nine career yeah, right. against the Cyclones. I'm going to take Iowa State in a really close classic Cyhawk football game. I'm talking like three points, a touchdown, something like that. What do you think about that one? Well, you know, I think it's a really tough game, and if, if Iowa is going to come up to to where they were a few years ago, which I'm, I guess I question that in general, but uh, 
He's got to start turning something around, get fans in the seats again. And, and uh, this is a big game for him, mm -hmm. for that program, for Iowa, Iowa to come up to uh, Jack Trice and come out of there with a victory. With, with their schedule, it sure put, point to a really nice bowl game, you know, if they just play up to par. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I think it's a three-point game. I, I'm going to give the edge to Iowa. I, I'm going to okay. go, I'm gonna go, against, go against it. I think it's a field goal in the end that wins it. You're going to say the road team four years in a row. Right, yeah. because it's if, you look, if you happened. look at what happened last year, it was right down to the wire, and uh, and Iowa, Iowa couldn't finish, and, mm -hmm. and they held on for the win. And, I, I think it's a I think it's a field goal at the end uh, or you know, to hold somebody away from it, but it's a three point game and I'm I'm giving the edge to Iowa this year, but I think uh, they're gonna uh, Iowa State's gonna come back and be three and two or two and so you two gotta, and uh, two and one. You got them beaten Toledo. I do the following I, week. Yes, I do, and and I think they'll be two and one after the first three games until we get into the into the season of uh, the Big Twelve. So I've got them two and one, but I got them losing to Toledo. Toledo, I, yeah. That's just a, I mean. Going it, away is hard. You'd like to think, too, that Iowa State's past this, but wouldn't that be such an Iowa State thing to do? You start off 2-0 against your in-state rivals, and then you go on the road and lose to Toledo. Right. Having said that, Toledo's the most people picking to win the, the MAC conference. It, it's, a, it's a good team. Yeah, it, it's a They're, really not nice on, team. Not on different than having North Dakota State last year as your, as your opener. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. were, they were a good team. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think that this is a big game for Iowa State to go on the road to to say, hey, we can pr compete in the Big 12, and I think they're going to get to lead. Uh, I hope, I hope you are yeah, right. But I think that Iowa Iowa State game is really going to be a barn burner. Well, it, it always is. Always is. It it's always fun. Is. It's fun for the state, and you know, I, I I root for. I guess I'm a I'm an Iowa fan. I root for Northern Iowa. I root for Iowa Iowa State when they aren't playing. I know a lot of you fanatics think I'm crazy, but no. that's really the way I am. I, I really like the state of Iowa. I, I root for Drake and basketball. I there, want them to there win. There are more people out there like you. It's the really vocal ones that are right. generally, I think, the ones right. who aren't like I, I, I think I, I'm proud of our state. I love to live in the, in the state of Iowa, and, I, and I, I'd like to see success. These are just young men doing their best and trying, you know, being a good fan is recognizing the talent that's out there and how they're trying to win. And, and winning is only one-sided. If two teams go out there, only one's going to win. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I think it, 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 they're 2-1 and one at, at the end of three games, and I think that'll be a good way for Paul to start, and it'll prove that they can go on the road in Big 12 and compete. All right. And so we'll see what the rest of the season unveils. All right, so we each got them at 2-1 and one to start. Uh, next time when I come in here next week, we'll, we'll update. I'll, I'll do the – fan around and show people the you know progress what? that we've made. You know, all of my inventory is backed up in, in one little corner because we're, we're doing the ceiling and it gets really dusty if it falls on us. So, oh, okay. So we're protecting the inventory and we're getting quite a bit of new fall goods and in two weeks we'll unveil a whole new inventory that was just coming in in our, in our distribution center. So when we get it all in, it'll be really exciting. Well, Maybe we'll have some of that out when you come. Uh. And, right. and we can show you a new sport coat. Yeah, I'm going to have to football season coming you gotta up. you got to get warm. fall stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Some wool, maybe? Yeah. Whatever you think. I mean, oh, it's got to be wool. It's okay. got to be wool. And wool, right. wool's what you need in the fall. It keeps you warm. But All right. It's good to have you in, Chris. And uh, we're looking for good things from the Cyclones this uh, year. And uh, let's see if we can win win six and get in a bowl game. We'll see. So. We'll see. Uh, we'll be back next week. We're going to do the next three games on the Iowa State football schedule. Um, and, and it starts to get tougher, obviously, right. as Big 12 play begins. 1995 Northwest 86th Street here in Clive. Come on in, check out the, the construction. If you're like me, I, I kind of get into this stuff. I like to see it, how it changes throughout you know, the week. You know, our customer so, does. Join. Our customer kind of gets gunned up when they come in, but I, I think you're ready for it to be done, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> We're all getting gunned up here. It's getting to the end of August, and it's football season, and it's a great time of the year. He's Tim Sitzman. I'm Chris Williams. So long, everybody.